Yo, what is going on, you spiky haired septiles? Today we're playing some games with Bahiam. This is a list I came up with the other day on stream or edited it to this uh, current build. 3-3 um, Pidgeotto, because we got Oracorio in here now. I don't think you need the 4-4 Pidgeotto. Maybe no one was playing 4-4 anyways. Anyway, Oracorio is super sick in this deck. Real strong. Try it out if you haven't. Uh, one until Valley GX for some closeout potential with the Rebel GX, or like we can even go Turbo Drive into Rebel GX. Um, whatever we might need to do with him, he hits harder. Uh, for a triple acceleration energy. Uh, one Absol to disrupt our opponents. Jirachis. We got one Gumi to potentially slow our opponents down uh, on key turns. We got that 4 4 Behem, of course, the one Ditto in there as well. This is our only way to evolve out of this Valley. So we try and keep this guy away from Pidgeotto. We can use him into a Behem, but we shuffle him back in so we can get access to him again for the Valley. So it's fine. The one Mew to protect our bench from Snipes. Like I said, we got the Oracorio in here so that we can draw three cards every time our opponent takes a knockout. That includes when they knock out Lily's Pokedoll. Um, one Vulpix, one Nine Tails to shut down decks like Guardian. Can't can't get through this at all, as far as I know. Uh, one Fion, because he's kind of cool. Just give him the good old suction, bring something else up, and uh, eh, we don't want to hit their active. It's pretty cool. Four Acrobike, gotta be aggressive. Four Poke Care, gotta be aggressive about finding Elms early on. Sometimes actually we use Elms for like the first three turns of the game if we can. We just keep Elming, drawing cards with the Pidgey out, the Pidgeys. Plus our top deck is sometimes just enough to get us through to get to the mysterious noise. Um, yeah, four doll of course. It's a, something we can send up that can't be that our opponent doesn't get a prize card on. Why wouldn't we play this? We got four of those in there, of course. One Lana's fishing rod. We can get second nine tails on the ditto. We can get uh, second Gumi, second Absol, the KO Mew, second Mew. Same thing with Oracorio. And yeah, of course, four triple acceleration, four U or three U turn board. I don't have four in here. I think four is a little excessive. So we're at three U turn board. And yeah, that's it. That's the list. Let's go ahead. Let's get into some games. Insanely good start here. We got the Elm. We opened Gumi. We have a Pidgey. We have an Acrobite. We have a follow-up supporter on Cynthia. Our opponent mulliganed. The list goes on. Our opponent is playing no idea what they're playing, actually. We saw Water Energy and Greens. Is it the Pips Toys? It might be the Pips Toys. That might be a tough matchup. We're going to find out. Nope, it's Victini. All right, so it's ADP, which is an equally tough matchup in my opinion it's a pretty adp is pretty tough but we can do it for sure um let's go with acrobike first because if we get a pidgey card oh definitely want that doll if we get a pidgey piece we would have definitely uh utilized it all right elms gonna get elegem pidgey pidgeotto pidgey lines here um or choreos here yeah the adp matchup can be pretty tough we're gonna do our best um try and stick it to him i'm gonna hold the u-turn board just so it doesn't get faba i don't want to lose it they do play faba I have six in hand. They could reset stamp me if they wanted to. But, uh, I mean, it's not that great of a reset stamp. Like, six to six. I just got three things out of my deck. Like, put them all in play with Elm. Or I guess I didn't put the Pidgeotto. They know I have a Pidgeotto in my hand. But, yeah. Reset stamping here isn't, like, something they should go out of their way to do. That's for sure. It's not, uh, not ridiculously, uh, effective, productive, whatever you want to call it. They're not getting a whole ton done by doing it. Um, one, re one, one of the reasons that, uh, this deck got hurt pretty bad, actually. It's because of Absol. It can be a little bit awkward to choose what to send up on our turns. We have to like, start sending up Pidgeotto's. And we have the Ninetales we can set up as well. But like we can't send up Gumi constantly if we wanted to with the U-turn board or something like that. So that kind of hurt this deck a little bit, for sure. Um, with the way the, the meta looks right now, it's just Spinner and a Green. So they probably have a Tag Call or an AD. Yep, Tag Call. If they had an ADP, it probably would have made its way to the bench on their first turn. Nothing cool about Gumi in this matchup, actually, is... Uh, the Steam Membrane, they can't GX attack on turn two with uh, Altered Creation. Oh, wait, they can if they use Victory Sign, though. Let's see if they're using Victory Sign. Well, they might as well use Victory Sign. All right, Gumi, not as useful as I thought it was going to be immediately. We're going to go ahead and send up the Lily's Poke Doll, and then maybe send up the Gumi on the next turn, but, oh, they don't have a fire. Okay, we are going to be hitting him with the Gumi. Ooh, Pitchy Odo top deck. Oh, my goodness, this is looking good. All right, you turn board to the active Behem on the... I don't know how to say the basics name. Attach Cynthia. Oof. That's pretty crazy. That's a crazy good draw right there. All right. Airmails first. Uh, I don't think the Absol is going to do a whole ton in this matchup. Hit up these Acro Bikes. Hit up a, another Poke Doll for later. And then we'll treasure away a. Ooh, I'm just starting to use Acro Bikes actually. We'll see if we can just find the stuff. Um. Look, can they have a, do they have a way to knock out nine tails? Not effectively, right? Actually, we're gonna get the nine tails here. And Acrobat again. I think I want that last U-turn board. We're gonna have to give up the Silvalley. 
Oh boy. All right. Treasure away the Pidgeotto. Grab myself another Elegem. I didn't want to, but uh, here we are. Oh, we can get him back with the, the Lana's Fishing Rod if we really have to. Okay. Then we get the Retreat into the Behem. And then Mysterious Noise. Knock out this Victini. Send up the Gumi. And doing all right i guess so far so far so good there's a cynthia that's really nice to see we got the treasure for the other illusion once they finally knock out this gumi we will uh set up the nine tails we can't set up the nine tails before then oh we could retreat to the lily's poke doll actually put the lily's poke doll in the deck and then okay so that's what we can do we can retreat to the lily's poke doll shuffle that guy in i think we're gonna start with because we could actually elms out of this hand with the poke gear because this treasure can get us pm so if we get a triple off the airmails, then we don't have to Cynthia. Or we could just go for the Cynthia play immediately, actually. Um, oh, wait. So I don't think they got the extra prize card thing working. If Unless I'm crazy, they GX attacked, but not for the effect of the extra prize card. One extra attaches and just attack cost. Okay, so they're not drawing extra prize cards here, right? Okay, they're not drawing extra prize cards. That's a big deal. I don't think our opponent knew what the heck they're doing. Um, I'm sorry, there, Mills. There's the PM. There's the concession. And yeah, that's exactly how the Gumi works. And that's why it's so good against ADP. And uh, yeah, our opponent decides, wait a second. Uh, I just am not drawing extra prize cards now. There's no way I win. And there's the concede. All right, another game, another Gumi start. Uh, here we are with the little guy again up against who knows we see acrobike at the very least Let's see what else i got going on in their deck there goes to dene what are they playing around with here jirachi to dene acrobike if i got to had to guess i guess it's probably mewtwo box which is a pretty tough matchup because uh espion deoxys is gx attack it wipes out a lot of our dudes yeah there it is espion and the breaks and zard yeah, espion deoxys is really annoying to deal with uh in this matchup and uh, they also have greninja to get through our nine tails which is really annoying They're just really annoying in general um our opponent's deck is for us um we'll do our best we'll see what we can come up with skateboard hearth rainbow looks good they already ditched it to the discard pile so that means they probably have a mewtwo in their hand i would assume otherwise i don't know why they would already put it in the discard pile if they didn't have a mewtwo i assume they have a mewtwo here We'll see so our game plan is going to be to like punch through them before they get a chance to really set up for the espion deoxys gx attack because if they get the gx attack with espion deoxys our setup just kind of falls apart and then there's kind of nothing we can do about it and we kind of just lose the game to be honest so we're gonna try to avoid that there's a cherish ball or a Mewtwo. So, yep, they got the Mewtwo going. I assume they have a Welder in their hand with the way they played out the uh, Guzmahala on the turn one. So, yeah, I assume they got a Welder already in the hand. There's a Pidgeotto. Oof, our hand would have been great if we had had a what's it called here. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw the, down the Absol, try and slow down this Jirachi. If we had a uh, Elm, our hand would have been great with an Elm there. Not as good without an Elm, but uh, still manageable. There's an Elm. We're going to be an Elm slow here, I think, is going to be the game plan. Go ahead and... Um, sheesh. Put down a Poke Doll, I guess. And pass to our opponent. Hopefully, we don't get ran over on these next couple turns. I don't know why I acrobiked there. I guess I just shouldn't have acrobiked at all. I acrobiked, I got the Elms, and I was like, wait, I guess I'm stopping because I have Elm. But then I shouldn't have acrobiked to begin with. Well, I guess it was like... I needed to try and find basic Pokemon. Okay, now that I found the Elm, I'm fine to just chill and wait till next turn use the Elm. Okay, I guess that's reasonable. I'm like trying to rationalize that with myself right there. I was like, hold up. We just got Elm, but why did I play the Sacred Bike? I guess it is because I didn't have an initial game plan to begin with. All right, now we got a game plan. What's wrong with it? All right. Using the Acro Bike was fine. All right, there's the Welder. If they didn't have one before, they have one now. They are super close to being able to GX attack us with SBN Deoxys, and then we're going to be in big trouble for sure. There's two energy, S3 and Axis in the discard pile. They have to find that rainbow and find themselves two more fire energy, and they will be good to go. So as soon as next turn, we could get be getting SP on Deoxys and getting our board cleared up. We will uh, see if they get it all on the next turn. Hopefully, they don't do anything this turn. That would be ideal if they just weren't able to pull off any game plans this turn. 
hopefully Gumi, uh, Gumi's sticky membrane is enough to kind of slow our opponent down for at least a turn. Give us a turn to uh, try and establish a board that they'll wipe away and then give us another turn to then try and re-establish our board that was just wiped away. That is the game plan. Did get it to dead to hand. I'm actually curious if they're going to actually dead change here. They're down a switch, so um, they just attached here. So I have a feeling this Jirachi's not moving this turn. Okay, he's staying. All right, cool. Stick around, bud. I got uh, got some stuff to tell you. All right, Acrobike. Oof, grab the Elegem, I think. We have a triple in hand. Letting one triple go is kind of fine. Uh, Professor Elm's Lecture. We're going to go Pidgey Pidgey Pidgeotto. <clears throat> and I think we just have to put stuff out there. We can go like this and this. I think I saved this for after. And we just pass to our opponent. And once again, we're hoping to slow them down a bit here. Um, to give ourselves more time to set up. There's a welder though. Oh no. We have a, the ha we don't play any stadium. So hearth is sticking for the rest of the game. I think basically I have access to all their energy. Um, all they need is an energy to retreat this, which I'm sure they're going to get. And then they're going to wipe out a lot of our board. Oh wait, actually they need an extra energy on this to utilize it because of the sticky membrane. Okay, so we're actually going to, we might be alive for one more turn here. Because they can't quite hard retreat the Jirachi through the Absol. And then they need an extra energy to actually attack with the SP, with the Mewtwo. And we, they are down one switch, so we're basically like, all right, if they get their second switch, they got us. I don't have it yet. But they do have a Dedede in their hand, so they could Dedede change and dig for it. Um, there's the attached to the Jirachi. I think they might be forgetting about, uh-oh. Is it back to back? Our opponents are forgetting about the sticky membrane. Um, and they're gonna mess up their GX attack once again. Oh no, it's gonna be cross division for 10 only, unless I'm mistaken because we do have the Gumi in the active with the sticky membrane. Yep, there it is, six and four. All right, I think we can do this now. I think we can pull off this dub. I held back on the Pidgey, just in case. Turns out they didn't know what was going on anyways. Um, Gumi is a baller. All right, Gumi, you're running away to the bench this time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give up a Pokedoll. Throw this on the Absol. I think I'm giving up Absol sometime soon as well. Past our opponent. If they have Naganadel here, we're going to be in trouble. Most lists don't play Naganadel, and there's the concession. Once again, our opponent's forgetting about Gumi. Gumi is carrying us today in this video, guys. He's doing all the work. Everyone else is kind of just spectating his miraculous success. We appear to be up against some kind of... Uh, what's it called? Just getting out my birds stuff actually i'm gonna go like this because we're gonna go second elm on second turn so we're gonna grab these three just in case they get they reset stamp us if we hold too much um this just becomes more beneficial overall go like that and bench a doll bench the gumi i think bench neither just pass yeah we're playing up against um magikarp whale lord so it's probably nagquag i can't imagine it's not nagquag ever here there's an acrobike I wasn't really scared about moving the Pidgey. I don't think we're getting at it. Whoa, there's a Crash Awake. Okay, there's a Keldeo. All right, I now have no idea what we're up against. I was like, all right, looks like Nightquag. It's probably Blastoise, actually. Yeah, it's probably Blastoise. Um, the one that looks like the top six, and then you get all the water energy you want out of there, and then put them to your Pokemon. If I had to guess, Blastoise. I guess it could still be Nightquag with Crasher Wake. Nope, there's a Squirtle. All right, Blastoise it is. Blastoise it's gonna be. Sounds good to me. So we're up against Blastoise here. Should be a fairly fine matchup. I can't imagine it would be terrible or anything. A terrible matchup. Just need to start swinging. They did open the Magikarp Wailor, which is super nice for us. We just get to go ahead and start punching that thing. Jet Geyser is going to be a nightmare to deal with, though, uh, as long as they have access to it. So we got Jet Geyser, not my friend at all. Don't want to see it. Super annoying. All right, grab two Odos. And we do need a Mew. We do need Mew in play because otherwise we are going to get wrecked potentially um, by what's it called? Um, actually, this is just going to be kind of tough in general for like having the draw power in play plus having to play around Towering Splash until we knock it out. Oof, it's going to be a tough one. Again, get grab the oil choreo for later. Okay, plenty of ways to knock out the nine tails, so that's not gonna be one of our go-to dudes this game. 
Those guys come down. This guy comes down. You get to retreat to a Poké Doll. And Pants. Yeah, even if they Jet Geyser here, I don't think they're going to get... Uh, they would need to literally attach and then hit 6 for 6 on the Blastoise. So that's probably not going to happen. So I think we should be all fine to play it out this way. And just pass to our opponent. We do need to put Mew in play eventually. Just not yet. The scary thing is the Jet Geyser. So when they're threatening the Towering Splash GX, they can also push one of our Pokemon to the bench. Oh, this is actually going to be really annoying to deal with. This, this game is. Until they run out of energy for Jet Geyser. As long as they can Jet Geyser, we're, it's like it becomes super... Our, our bench space becomes super, super awkward. Jeez, excuse me. As long as they can Jet Geyser, our bench space becomes super awkward. All right, let's get the Pokey gear. Dig again. Get the triple. All right, we are in business. And Pokey gear. I was going to say communication, but that's not communication. We are going to play communication, though. Get ourselves another Behem onto this guy. Get him ready to go. Yeah, once again, not afraid of what's it called yet, so we don't need what's it called yet. Shuffle this guy, or put him on the bottom. That way we can potentially draw it off the Cynthia. Go ahead, send up a Behem. Attach the triple. And then play the Cynthia. Yeah, we don't have room for Oracorio on our bench either. That's going to be awkward. It's going to be an awkward game. That's for sure. So I think I go Mysterious Noise, send up this. But then they could push us out of the way with Jet Geyser. So we need something on our bench to kind of absorb the hit. Um, I want to keep the Elm. Treasure away a treasure, I guess. Or treasure away a Behem. Or we could come away a Behem, I guess. That seems fine to me. <clears throat> go ahead, grab ourselves. Well, how many U-turn boards do we have in here? Two. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves... Uh, well, we should grab ourselves the Fion just in case we want to take that off play. So we're going to go send up the Poké Doll, and if they do um, push us out of the way with the Jet Geyser, we will send up Fion. Yeah, this deck, if this deck had one more bench space to work with, we'd be this deck would be great. We'd be in a much better spot. We can also let a Pidgeotto get knocked out when they Jet Geyser, and then we can put Oracorio in play over a Pidgeotto, which will be more beneficial for us to have in play anyways, which would be the... Uh, no, what's it called? 90 there. Apparently that was enough to slow them down. Elms here. That's right. They can't wear Candy Squirtle if we keep them item locked. That's true, actually. So uh, just take Triple Elegem. And I think we're going to keep trying to keep trying to lock them. We can actually let a Pidgeotto get knocked out as well. Now that I'm thinking about it. So Acrobike. Do it again. Pokey Doll. All right. Elegem. Shuffle under. I'm actually just going to let an Illigem get knocked out here if they do get the energy. But they can't get the energy if they're, what they called, once again, uh, locked. So, Mysterious Noise. 90 more damage. Yeah, I kind of forgot the fact that if we do Mysterious Noise them before they go Candy Blastoise. Well, you can't Candy Blastoise if uh, you can't play Rare Candy. Um, I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. So, uh, that sounds pretty good to me. Keep air mailing. Keep doing what we're doing. Lily for one. Maybe they play a War Turtle and they'll find that, but uh, that's a one of. They can't play Communication to find it, so unlikely, even if they do play it, that they would find it. So, uh, it looks pretty good to me. Let's see. Uh, Airmail again, looking for triples. So, we'll take the Acrobike because that can find us a triple. Uh, do the same thing again. Uh, take the Cynthia because that can find us a triple. The Poke Gear, I mean, that could maybe find us a triple as well, I guess. Alright, Acrobike. There's the concession from our opponent. They don't want to deal with not being able to play Red Candy, and we take a another dub with the behem and that's going to do it for this video on the behem short and sweet with the behem with the meme um super fun deck not the most competitive there is some big workarounds to the deck but it's super fun the deck is super fun nonetheless uh item locking your opponent can be super frustrating for your opponent um but super fun to keep setting up on your side i think the problem with the deck currently is it doesn't do quite enough damage and playing like shrine of punishment doesn't quite fix it because it hurts your consistency and doesn't quite actually make up enough damage so if behem ever can do a little bit more damage i think behem would be in a great spot but could, could consistently do more damage it would be in a great spot overall it's not the deck's not quite there yet so this is what we have to work with right now still pretty good as you can see here not tier one but it's up there um as far as meme decks go um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.